I think you can look forward to an interesting story, a uh -huh. handcrafted world, yeah. new weapons, new gear, new items uh, that sort of alter the way you might think about Starfield. Hello, everyone. This is Richard. Welcome to this breaking news edition of Starfield Essentials. I've been watching interviews with Tim Lamb, lead creative producer for Starfield. He appeared with several hosts who asked him questions about the game, and most importantly, the upcoming Shattered Space DLC. Here are my key points from these interviews, with most of my content coming from the Bethesda interview on Twitch, streamed live from Gamescom in Germany. Shattered Space begins with a, quote, catastrophic event on the Varun homeworld of Varun Kai. The player will visit a space station, then Dazra, the capital of Varun Kai. There, the player will deal with the minor factions of House Varun and try to unravel the mystery of this catastrophic event. There is apparently a new enemy called the Vortex Horror. They have, quote, broken through to our world from somewhere else and retain powers from their point of origin. This sounds like a worthy opponent for a player who is a Starborn and probably quite a challenge for a lower level player. You can enjoy the DLC just by staying on Varun Kai, as the adventure is focused around the capital city of Dazra. Tim said this expansion will have the, quote, traditional BGS feeling. It's focused. You don't have to leave to experience the full story. Everything is right there, end quote. You don't have to fast travel from Neon to Aquila City or whatever nonsense. Dazra is, quote, a wholly focused bespoke location with lots of nooks and crannies to explore and, quote, lots of opportunities for finding things. This is, quote, a handcrafted world, new weapons, new gear, new items that might alter the way you think about Starfield. This sounds to me like Bethesda is trying to recreate the vibe that players of games like Skyrim enjoy. Dazra is a, quote, mysterious, dark, harsh environment. It's not hopeful exploration like the rest of Starfield. Shattered space is mysterious and dark in deep space. It explores how the Varun have survived outside the settled systems. Perhaps Bethesda is listening to community feedback and has built shattered space around those who have requested a more geographically focused experience with more opportunities for random encounters on the ground. Speaking of feedback, Tim and company specifically requested that players quote be kind to the community managers as they have a difficult job. I agree with that recommendation. However, I think it would be helpful for two-way dialogue. It seems to me that feedback is mainly a one-way scenario. Players speak, but have little or no way to know if anyone hears them. In my opinion, it would be helpful if community managers publish periodic updates with topics that the studio is addressing. It would go a long way if they said, for example, we know some players are still experiencing blocked gameplay due to bugs and quests. We plan to address as many of these as possible with future releases. Some of the most significant bugs we are working with include the following. Or how about the mod limit, seemingly caused by a mod index that overflows beyond 255? Imagine if Bethesda said, We have heard you. We know about this. We agree it is a problem. We are working on it. I'm not convinced places like Discord are the best way to handle feedback. I'm also not thrilled with the web-based ticket system Bethesda currently uses. Call me old-fashioned, but a web-based forum with attentive moderation is a better solution. Bethesda is not an open-source company, obviously, but the use of an issue tracker like that found on GitHub would be a big improvement. Overall, I'm definitely looking forward to Shattered Space. The only downside will be more broken mods, at least temporarily. Some of us are already dealing with this due to the latest update. This is the cost of expanding our game. Let me know if you want to hear how I manage it. What do you think of this Shattered Space news? Are you excited by the future of Starfield? Please let me know in a comment below. If you made it to this part of the video, leave a comment saying, That much sleep is a sign of weakness. That's kind of long, just say weakness. Also, remember to ring the bell icon and select all notifications if you think Andresia should take a nap herself. If you like this content, please check out my previous video on the new rover, linked in the description. My name is Richard, and I will see you in the Starfield.